welcome back to another gear review. Today we're going to take a look at the DEP20 Portal uh, Electric Piano from Donner. They're doing some great things and the DEP20 is simply amazing. They have it branded as a beginner piano, but after playing this, I'm telling you, intermediate, intermediate advanced can definitely purchase this keyboard as well and have some fun with it. The price is great, under $400. I can't remember the last time I came across a keyboard with all the important features for under $400. Now, as a piano teacher and someone who's been playing piano for 20 years, there are some features that I think every piano should have, especially for piano students. Whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you definitely want a keyboard that's 88 key. Check, this has 88 keys. You definitely want hammer action weighted keys to build your finger dexterity. Check, this keyboard has it. I like keyboards to have onboard speakers. This has great stereo onboard speakers that you can use right away. So that's another feature that I like that's check. So we're gonna take a little look on this and I'm gonna explain to you some of the features and we're gonna talk about that, so stay tuned. some of the buttons you see on, on, on here. So we have our volume knob, which is nice and handy right there. We also have a, 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 a MP3 control slot. We have a grand piano voice. We have built-in rhythms. So if you want to practice to different rhythm tracks, you have built-in rhythms. You got a start, stop button here. You got a sync, you got transpose, you know. You got demo, which comes with built-in songs. That you can play with. You got chord options right here and the manual does a great job explaining all of these in details. You got a touch feature. So the touch feature is whether you want it to be hard, soft, or to be normal. So right now it's on normal. I'll just take this uh, double voice off. But if I were to put it on say uh, soft, then it's quiet. Right? So if you're practicing late in the night, you don't want to wake your children or your spouse, and you don't want to have to use headphones, practicing on the soft option would be a great idea. Let's just put this back up to normal. You got an effects, that's something you can dive into. You got a split feature that allows you to basically the split the keyboard itself. So if I click split, listen what happens here. See this keyboard start over starting here. So we can essentially have two people playing <laughs> at two different ends. If you know you have two kids learning piano and you, they like to play together, you can do that with that cool split feature. You got a tempo. For when you're you know you're, you're using like the metronome and stuff like that we just talked about the double voice which is layering you got again drums and you have a record feature so if you want to record and playback for practice purposes you can do that so if i click this record button here turn off the metronome playback. So it's a pretty cool feature for practice purposes because one of the most important things for pianists, you got to be able to hear yourself play so you can critique yourself and that's not something you can easily do in the moment 
when you are uh, uh, practicing. So it's good to be able to take the third person perspective and listen to yourself um, with the record feature. So that's a pretty cool. So that's the onboard button. Now right here where you see it says MP3 control, that means you can load songs into the player. At the back, we have a few options. You have a USB port, which means you can, uh, using a USB uh, drive stick, you can import MP3 files onto that stick, plug it in the keyboard, and you can play it directly from here. Another cool feature at the back, there is an input quarter inch jack section. So that means you can run a quarter inch line from any external audio source and it will play through these speakers as well, which is great for people who like to practice the backing track. If you have that loaded onto your system or coming to a speaker, you can just take a line out of that speaker, plug it in here, it comes through here and you can play along with it. Let's talk about some of the additional features at the back. You have a sustain pedal port, right? So that's what I'm using down here. But then you also have another option. So if you have something like this boy right here, this is another pedal by from Donner. There's a, a slot where you can plug this in. And now you have these three options that give you an extended, extended pedaling features. That's also available at the back. You also have a line out. So if you want to in addition to the uh, onboard speakers, you want to send audio to like a main speaker and then use these as sort of like monitors, you can do that as well. More features. Right here, you have two headphone jack ports. So again, if you're practicing late in the night, you don't want to disturb anyone, or you're just probably shy, you're not ready to showcase your playing yet, you can practice with a headphone. But there are two headphone jacks. So the way you could use this is if you're doing a duet with you and a singer, you want a guitarist, right? But again, you don't want to use the onboard speakers. Both of you could plug your headphone jack into the, the section right here and both of you could hear the piano and practice that way. So those are some of the features uh, that this, this brilliant keyboard has. Again, if you're a beginner or intermediate looking for a new keyboard, I think this would be a very solid option. Another important feature of this keyboard, the Donner DEP20, is that it has MIDI functionality. So at the back, you will see a USB port, but it's not the standard 3.0 USB port. It's a special port, kind of similar to the port that you'll see at the back of a printer. It's the same cable, and you can buy these cables on Amazon or any sort of music store. USB to USB, but it's a special USB. But once you connect that to your computer, you essentially turn this keyboard into a MIDI controller. And in all my tutorials, my keyboards are mostly being used as a MIDI controller. So that's why I believe, and that's why I said that this keyboard is not just for beginners, but intermediate and intermediate advanced can certainly find this absolutely a helpful keyboard. So check it out. The Donna DEP20 Portable Grand 88 Keys I'm Action Weighted. It is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna be having a lot of fun with this because you know now I have a lot of keyboard in my arsenal to play around with, something that I don't have to hook up or get fancy. It is a pianist piano and by that i mean there's not too much bells and whistles if you know me i'm not big into the bells and whistles i like a keyboard that does what it says it's supposed to do and this keyboard is perfect for that it has dozens and dozens of different voices the one i'm using now is just standard grand piano which i think is an absolutely gorgeous sampling nice bass Eyes, right? So that's it guys. Go ahead and check out this keyboard. There's a link in the description below where you can go and purchase this keyboard. Let me know your thoughts about it. And remember to keep listening, keep singing, and keep practicing and go make some wonderful music 
with the Donner DEP20. Bye for now and talk soon.